Hello, my name is Tom Haynes and I work on the user experience team for Rational Team Concert. In this demo you will learn how to use the ISPF client to work with host files in the SCM and submit builds. For the purposes of this demo, assume the RTC administrator has installed the ISPF client on the Zeo system and instructions for accessing it have been provided to developers. Once you've logged in using a developer role ID, this is the ISPF client homepage. Let's start with option 0 and check the settings. Check that your preferences reflect how your administrator has configured the daemon and registry directory. Notice that we are not currently connected, so next we will log into the SCM server using option 1. You can also change to a different project area from here after you have connected to the repository. You now see information such as the current project area you are working with. Now we will load a repository workspace, create a new one if needed, flowing to a stream that has managed source code shared. Specify option 2. Check out the many actions you can initiate on the selected repository workspace. We will come back to this menu again later in the demo. Note that the specified workspace is now loaded in this prefix location. Next we will make a trivial change to a dataset member from the mortgage application sample and check the change in under a work item as per our process control. Look at the many other actions you can take against a dataset member not shown in this demo, such as sharing a newly created member to the repository, undoing a change, revert, and deleting or renaming, move, a member. We'll simply make a trivial comment change and press F3 to save and close. The asterisk in the SEM column tells us we need to check the change set in to the repository workspace. From this panel you can also create a new member for this data set, not shown in this demo. Enter this command, s name, without quotes, where name is whatever you want to call a member. Edit, save, and close the file, then share the new member into a new or existing Z component project. Time to deliver the changes to the stream. We do that from the workspaces choice, number two. This character indicates you have an outgoing change set. Note that you can also accept an incoming change set here from a separate repository workspace, not shown in this demo. That workspace needs to flow with the same stream as the one you are using here. You would see this character on the repository workspaces panel indicating you have an incoming change set. Note that you could also discard the outgoing change set instead of delivering it. The discard not only removes the outgoing change set from the repository workspace, it also undoes the changes to the affected source files, assuming that they are still loaded. Next we will submit a build. First we need to identify a build definition.
You can submit a personal build or a team build. You can also add properties or change existing property values. Of course it won't complete this quickly, most likely. You have the option of rebuilding from here if desired. I hope this demonstration has been helpful. Be sure to view the other demos available for Rational Team Concert and related products.